Back in 2001, Mark Frazier was one of my favorite riders to watch due to his style and technique. I had his poster on my wall for a long time, but never did I think I would compete against him. Fast forward to 2016, and I find out he's coming to ride our national series. When I heard that, he had already won. It was in my head that he was better than me. I knew what he did in the past, and I thought I had no chance. Sure, I tried my best and even lucked into a couple wins, but there was no chance of a championship for me. I didn't enjoy that year as much as I should have, so I knew something had to change for 2017. Coming into the year, my goal was not even on the championship. I wanted to have fun and learn something from Mark. Starting the year in Texas, I practiced with him a little bit and actually picked up on a couple things pretty quick. The first day was very easy. I ended up with one point and finished second to Mark who stayed clean, so there wasn't a lot I could take from that. But on Sunday, there were a couple trickier sections that I knew would be key. I was clean going into section 10 on the third loop, and that ended up being the most difficult section of the day. Mark was riding ahead of me at the time, and he made a mistake. That was actually the first time I had seen him make a mistake in a section. Up until that point, I had always ridden in front of him and never really watched him. The pressure I felt to capitalize on his mistake was pretty intense, but I was able to hold it together and stay clean. Something clicked after that ride, and I started to think maybe I had a chance. Maybe he is beatable. That was a huge confidence booster for me. I used that confidence for a solid weekend in Kansas and scored two more wins. The sections were more difficult, so it felt great to edge Mark out there. Rounds five and six brought us to Ohio after a two month break in the schedule. Mark and I were tied the first day after the morning sections going into the shootout, so the pressure was on for one of us to make a mistake. Unfortunately, that was me when I displaced the ribbon for a five. That was a tough one to come back from, and Mark ended up beating me by one point. Going into Sunday, I felt like I needed to win to keep any hope of the championship alive. Early on, a slight mistake led to a broken ribbon and another five. It felt like I threw everything away right there. All the confidence and momentum I had was gone in a split second. Coming back from that mistake would be nearly impossible against someone like Mark. But I took a short break, regrouped, and finished strong enough to tie Mark and edge him out on cleans. That was a huge relief, and coming back from a mistake like that is something I've always struggled with. The final weekend was in Rhode Island, which is known to be very difficult. I knew what I needed to do for the championship, but with lots of rain and muddy conditions, I wanted to prove to myself that I have improved when it gets slick. I put a lot of time into mud riding in the off season, so this is my chance to see if it was worth it. I put in my best mud ride ever and was able to win. It was extremely rewarding to know all those cold hours I put in the off season, riding in the mud, the snow, the ice, it all paid off and it was all worth doing. Mark has a lot of experience in all conditions, so to beat him in the most difficult event of the year was an incredible feeling. It gives me hope and confidence for the future no matter who I'm competing against.